Hi, and welcome to your next lecture in computer science for everyone. This time, let's talk about graphics cards. So what is a graphics card? It's the component that lets you view images in your screen. It's essentially the component that puts in your screen everything that needs to be there. Um, it is like a mini computer. What, what I mean with this is that it has parts that a computer would have. So it has processors, it has just like your CPU, it has many cores, many processors, it has memory, which we've talked in the previous lecture, and um, there's this graphics card memory that's very similar to the RAM, there is a heatsink, just like your processor in your computer has a heatsink, the graphics card processor also has a heatsink, so it doesn't overheat, and it has a digital to analog converter, your computer doesn't have a digital to analog converter, but this is similar to what the graphics card is to the computer, the digital to analog converter is to the graphics card. So the computer's way to display output is the graphics card, the graphics card's way to display output is this converter, because it converts what's happening inside the graphics card into an analog signal you can send to your screen. So graphics cards are the most power consuming component in a computer. This is because they're essentially like a computer inside a computer. They slot in the PCI Express port that um, we saw in the motherboard lecture. And as we said, they let us view images in one or more screens. So maybe if you have a desktop computer um, or even a laptop, you can have two or more um, output ports in your um, motherboard or your graphics card. Let's take a look at what these ports can be. There is a VGA, which is Video Graphics Array. It's an analog format. And then you've got DVI, which stands for Digital Visual Interface. It's a digital format, as the name says. And it looks like that, as we should do the right. So it is different to the VGA. Let's go back one. VGA has a bunch of, like, let's call them dots for now, for sake of simplicity. This one also has a wee line. Then we have HDMI, which is High Definition Multimedia Interface. And this is digital as well. And as you can see, it's two completely different and a lot smaller than the other two. And then we have DisplayPort, which is the newest generation. Um, for example, new Mac computers have now one or two DisplayPorts. Um, yeah, and it's the best uh, way to connect to a screen. It lets you send audio as well as video. So this is the best. Um, it's digital format, and there's also mini display port. There's embedded display port, internal display port, wireless display port. There's many types of display port available. Um, in the image, you can see at the top, that's mini display port, and at the bottom, it's the standard display port. And that's all of the connectors that there are for now. Um, I don't know if you see any of these in your laptop, in the sides of your laptop, or behind your desktop computer. You can have a look and see if they are similar to what we've seen in the lecture. They should be the same. So thank you very much for watching. And let's move on to the next section where we're going to be going over um, binary numbers and how to convert from binary to text. So I'll see you in the next lecture.